Our headlines today, an escalation in the war of words over rail strikes. The Transport Secretary says agency staff could be allowed to fill in for workers who walk out. And Andy Murray reaches his first tour level final on grass in six years, getting the better of Nick Kyrgios to continue his winning streak in Stuttgart. At some of this morning's front pages. Telegraph uh, is the one that we start with. Agency staff may be used to break Marxist union strikes. That is the Sunday Telegraph headline. The paper inside features an interview with the Transport Secretary Grant Shapps, who says ministers are drawing up legal changes which could take effect during the looming summer of rail strikes, although the BBC understands that any change would not affect the planned strikes at the end of this month. They, they would come in if agreed later on. So to The Observer, which is reporting this morning that uh, Boris Johnson faces rural fury over the post-Brexit food strategy, the paper says that farmers and environmentalists are angry about the Prime Minister's food strategy for England. It's set to be announced tomorrow. We're going to talk a bit more about that story during the course of the morning before 9 o'clock here on Breakfast Today. Let's have a look at the Mail on Sunday, which focuses on the government's policy of sending people to Rwanda if they arrive illegally into the UK. We've been talking about this a lot over the last few days. It says the Home Secretary, Priti Patel, will launch an advertising campaign to warn potential arrivals of the new scheme. And the Sunday Times, as we have just been discussing with Chris doing the weather, uh, Sunday Times today reporting that summer is finally on its way with temperatures set to hit nearly 30 degrees Celsius in some parts of the country next week. And that's uh, thanks to a Spanish heat wave, which is uh, heading north towards us, which is good. Um